Hey guys, I'm Sherk Command Studio, Rage Out Legends, with another champion guide this time on the bunny, Razzle Varg. We have Arctic Keo 135, looking for, been waiting for a Razzle Varg build a while. Can you build him next? Absolutely. Lord Mancoach, looking for some Valkyrie Martyr in Razzle Varg. I think I've already done a Valkyrie guide. Uh, we have Jake Frost, we have Deathly Love, and we also have Gaming with Rush Card. Oh, I like the, uh, like the channel, man. I wonder if it's a real channel or not. I will check it out. Either way, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the hair himself. All right, so Razzlevarg is a skinwalker. It's a, per, a, a previous fusion in the game as well. I did not go for him, uh, but... We have him today, thanks to Sir Henry, on Hopping Mad, is A1 ability. And by the way, I should just comment on the aesthetics here. I mean, he's the bunny, but he's got the wolf on the shoulder. I love the side view. Isn't that cool? Uh, I really love the aesthetics on this dude. You can't make a bunny in this game look any more badass than this, I feel. Uh, Skinwalker, obviously, he definitely fits the aesthetics of the Skinwalkers. And his overall grades, we can see here in the game. I think uh, Demon Lord, for me, he's an easy 5 out of 5. Like, not even close. You guys will see in today's video as to why. On his hopping mat as a triple hitter, each uh, hit will fill this champion's turn meter by 5%. Now, uh, triple hitter is going to be great for giant slayer uh masteries as well as all of his attacks scale on attack and speed which is great because he is i guess not technically based on his base speed but when you put his kit into consideration which you you have to he's the fastest champion in the game this this bunny and it's it's apropos right uh so everything scales off of speed and attack uh, Rowan, the epic banner lord, as well as uh, Ghostborn, the dark elf legendary, are the only two champions I can think of whose attack base, or excuse me, whose damage scales off of speed as well. So I want to make this guy nice and fast in most situations, unless he's speed tuned. More on that in a bit. Knight of the Rabbit is his A2 ability. It's an AoE with a leech at 100%. Uh, AoE leech is great, specifically on Hydra, when there's more than one enemy alive on the enemy team, right? More opportunities to heal off of the damage that you're putting out there. Heals this champion by 10% of the max HP for each leech debuff placed by this skill. On the A3, keep up, if you can, a three-turn cooldown attacks all enemies, increase speed, increase accuracy on all allies for two turns before attacking. So the increased speeds are great because an increased accuracy is great, you know, everywhere in the game anyway. Uh, but then the built for speed, it all comes together, this nice package with the built for speed passive this is increased speed uh excuse me each increased speed buff placed by this champion increases this champion speed by five you can get a hundred extra speed out of this ability especially in the longer fights both of the clan bosses right i mean this is just amazing that's a lot of extra speed okay uh plus you can have the increased speed buff on top of this everything stacks it's amazing increased speed in all battles by 20 percent on the aura again his base speed is 110 his base attack is actually 1520 so this guy can deal some serious damage as well uh I want to show you the build here. I want to, and again, this is a specifically tuned clan boss build uh, for Mr. Razzlebar. Let me just go ahead and recently used. Uh, so here we go. We have a man, Perception, Cruel, and Cruel. Perception, obviously, to land the debuffs, right? Uh, especially the leech. Really nice to land that leech. Well, does he even have anything? He doesn't have anything other than the leech ash. But yeah, some accuracy to land the leech is nice. You will see, though. Uh, not a ton of accuracy on this build. Again, this is my thumbnail artist Sir Henry's account because Razzlevarg is the only skinwalker that yours truly does not own. But I wanted to do this guide because, well, you saw the comments, right? Uh, so any perception, cruel and cruel. Cruel's great. I mean, Cruel is, uh, we get a 30% attack and 10% ignore enemy defense. He's actually in a slow build right now. And again, I want to mention this and reiterate this. If you have Razzlevark, go to DeadwoodJedi.com. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just go there right now real quick. So on DeadwoodJedi.com, guys, this website's great, right? You can go, you can see all the, the teams, all the speed tunes for every team, not just Razzlevark. This is Razzlevark. What is it? Razzlevark. 
rab uh, rab bat eater <laughs> okay so that means we're gonna have two man eaters a seeker and a random dps you could use like a rathalos uh blade master in a team like this as well and you can see there you know there's slow builds there's fast builds there's all kinds of stuff here everything that you need as well as a description on the team and how it works and why it works etc 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 what if things are going wrong they'll leave notes there to help you kind of troubleshoot as well on these teams i can't get of enough love to deadwood jedi his youtube channel and the website that he maintains while we're on the websites let's go ahead and take a look hell hades.com gives this dude a four overall grading four out of five they give him a five out of five in both clan bosses no uh no shocker there fire knight a four and a half out of five fire knight normal this dude is a five out of five in my opinion right really splitting hairs here get it splitting hairs get it Okay, uh, four and a half on the Fire Knight. Fire Knight is a triple hitter and is all about the speed. I mean, of course you're going to want this dude to get that shield down on Fire Knight. On Fire Knight hard, he does drop off a little bit. He doesn't bring anything else essential to the team, but he's still a lot of hits on that shield uh, just with the A1 and his speed taken into consideration. Uh, where else are we using him? Doom Tower Waves, sure. Dark Fae, uh, th a four and a half. Frost Spider, four and a half grades. His multipliers are A, Attack, uh, 0 0.45 times speed divided by 100. Yeah, sure. That. <laughs> his attack is 1.5 and his speed divided by 100 on both the A2 and the A3. You guys will see him in action and you'll see how much damage this guy can put out. It will be pretty gnarly, especially in this build that features the double cruel and a 6,300, almost 6,400 base attack. That's very impressive, especially for a free-to-play account. He is missing some crit rate here. Obviously, stat priorities are going to be 100% crit rate, as much crit damage and damage as we can stack onto this dude. Now, with this slow build we're sacrificing some damage as well but we need do need this team in particular speed tuned appropriately uh which means he needs to be at 189 speed on his masteries we already spoke about it going down and picking up giant slayer is going to be the most important thing on this guy so going down well you guys let me push out of the way a little bit here you can see that we went down the support tree we did pick up some more hp and then we went down and uh, we kind of negated accuracy i think i would go in a vacuum i'd probably go with pinpoint charge focus swarm smite uh lore of steel i kind of would go that direction personally uh probably ending with master hexer to extend the duration of the leech uh but this build is fine too you could also go down the defensive tree if i was to go defense i would definitely go tough skin i would go blast proof i would go resurgent i would go delay death I would go with Retribution to get more triple hits off that A1 ability. On offense, I think this is absolutely perfect. We come down, we grab Giant Slayer, picking up some of the obvious masteries along the way. All right, Blessings. He is barely awakened here, and Brimstone is going to be the way to go, provided you have enough accuracy to land it with 211 accuracy. It will land sometimes, I think, against Demon Lord. Uh, it will land with 210, but I'd rather get that accuracy up to around 250 to or closer to 300, you know, would be would be a little bit more comfortable. But having Leech is great, right? Uh, it really negates the need, the necessity, especially when progressing for Lifesteal gear, Bloodthirst gear, right? Uh, okay, really quickly to go through the artifacts here. Attack and crit damage. Attack on the ring. I was going to go, uh, no speed on the boots. 99% of you guys are going to go speed on the boots. This dude, you can build them fast and get more speed and more speed and, and more speed. Uh, however, attack percentage, think of it this way. The, the pro on building him all out nuke is A, he's going to be speed tuned anyway. B, we're still going to gain tons of speed, right? 100 speed throughout the duration of this battle. So he's still going to be the fastest champion on our team when all said and done. Anyway, attack percentage on the chest and crit damage on the gauntlets. The reason I wanted to share this video to you guys, specifically about Clan Boss, is because intuitively you look at his kit and you think, okay, I just need to min-max speed no matter what. But in a way, you're going to get that speed anyway, right? So when it's speed tuned like this, it can seem a little bit unorthodox at first but it does make sense when you add it all up at the end of the day so again he's all out speed here now one final note 
is if you you could also put him in like savage or lethal if you wanted to right uh one final note is just speed gear just as a general overall build you can have some fun with this guy and just go all out speed right uh perception gear or stuff like that uh will work divine speed etc uh so there's a few different ways to build the rabbit but this is the way you want to do it for clan boss and again this is why i want to make this video so the team that we're going to be using today is let's go on ultra nightmare i got permission to use the gems already don't scold me i feel bad using gems on a free-to-play account but here's the squad guys we have razzle varg in the lead again 189 speed nothing speed to nothing team setup on his kit demitha we do have opening with the a3 prioritizing the a1 seeker by the way demitha is the fastest on the team at the start of the battle at 295 actually i guess at the end of the battle two ish uh seeker is at 189 speed so a slow batman on this team uh we do have him opening up with a devour the a1 rathalos is going to be at slow 174 speed uh nothing special there and brogni is going to be prioritizing or opening excuse me with his a2 at 190 speed okay let's go ahead and go into battle here uh eh, do i want to quick battle it there's no setup necessary this is a full auto team so I'm just going to quick battle it, and we're going to see what kind of damage Razzle Varg is going to surprise you. He's going to out-damage everybody, I can tell you that. Even Rathalos. 36 million damage, okay? This is going against uh, Magic Affinity Clan Boss as well, uh, which is pretty telling. The reason it's noteworthy is because Rathalos actually has the Affinity matchup here, and granted, his damage was incredible as well at 26 million. This is a one-key team on a free-to-play account. Obviously, two epics, three legendaries, one being a freebie, and two being fusions. Man, Razzlevarg is a beast. I really wish I had him on my account. You can make some really cool teams with him, and again, you don't. he's not limited I should say just to to clan boss fire knight normal and uh, hydra clan boss he's going to be really good oh, along with all the other areas that they mentioned on hellhades.com they give him a three and a half in arena specifically dark fey fire knight well we talked about this already so there you go guys that is a quick razzlevarg guide for you guys uh specifically clan boss oriented if you want any follow-up content on razzlevarg go ahead and let me know happy to do a follow-up video if you want to see him in different areas of the game but I wanted to be pretty efficient and concise because well i want to go back to my home on my account uh thank you so much for watching keep the champion guide requests coming in the uh comments below guys i appreciate the suggestions i get all of my ideas as i highlight at the top of these videos from you guys from your suggestions your recommendations on which champions we should cover next thank you for watching and as always take care guys